Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN. Here's our second review of the 2015 edition of the Fix Me Stick, the all-in-one USB dongle that uh, supposedly is able to fix all your virus and malware problems and make them all go away. Now, what we've done this time is we've done a three-way test or attempted to do a three-way test, and we'll explain how it kind of didn't work out. But uh, nonetheless, we still have some good results for you. So uh, we used Hitman Pro as a benchmark. We did not clean any of these, and we really infected. Actually, it's really hard to infect a computer with several Trojans and malware. Um, I had one of my interns actually come in, and he had to go to Japanese porn sites because the uh, apparently the American ones are very clean. So he had a big old time doing that. And we have three identical Dell Latitude, um, I think they're 6400s. And uh, we got one severely infected with all kinds of malware and Trojans, thanks to my intern in his Japanese porn. And we're going to do scan the first one with the Fix Me Stick. And then we're going to scan the second one with the MCSoft Emergency Kit. And then we're going to use Hitman Pro's uh, Kickstarter, which is a USB bootable USB device. And um, we're going to compare the three results and uh, see which one did the best job. Did any one of these devices clean everything perfectly? Or uh, have they come up with an all-in-one solution that will pretty much put computer technicians out of business? So uh, we'll take a look at it and see what's going on. So our benchmark shows we've got over 300 uh, Trojans and malwares and pups and all kinds of junk on here with over 4,000 traces. So this thing is pretty well hosed. As a matter of fact, when you turn it on, it's really ugly. And now uh, here's the image we made, and we copied it to the other two Dell. So we're going to scan the same exact image three times with each one of these tools and uh, compare the results. So as you can see, they're pretty much unusable. You've got Super Optimizer on here. You've got Reg Cleaner Pro and Super Fix It and a million other um, <laughs> funny named um, uh, applications here that are supposed to uh, protect your computer and clean things up. And uh, it's really, there's so many things popping up that the CPU usage is close to 100% and the memory's all sucked up. So you pretty much can't do anything on these things. I'd be amazed, actually, if you could scan one of these. So, uh Here's uh, our three uh, tools that we're going to use, and uh, let's see uh, what we can do in these three massively hosed-up computers. All right, so we pop the Fix Me stick into test unit number one, and it lights up, showing that it is recognized by the operating system. However, um, <laughs> we couldn't get anything to come up, and it's probably... It's probably so buried in the back of all this mess here, we couldn't get anything to come out. So we had to open my computer. Fortunately, we were able to get it to open and uh, had to manually click the Run Fix Me Stick uh, application manually, which then went through and uh, rebooted the computer just as it should. And what's really neat about this and very promising about this Fix Me Stick is it runs in a, a Linux shell. So it's actually running outside the Windows operating system, so it's not affected by... Um, any of the malware that's uh, on the computer, which is very, very cool. Now, what's very curious about this, and it's probably some kind of magic, and I'm, I don't pretend I understand how this happens to me. It's just some kind of miracle. But somehow the Fix Me Stick was able to download updates without any Ethernet cord being in the computer. So maybe it has some kind of osmosis or direct connection to space or something, but... Somehow was able to download updates without me putting in a wet key or a WPA password for the wireless network. So maybe it borrows that from Windows. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> that's some pretty cool technology. Um, it took a while to download the updates, too. I mean, if you're in a hurry, the Fix Me Stick is going to take several, several hours. And I'll show you in some of the screenshots later just how long this thing took. But um, And uh, we ran, we tried to run the emergency kit scanner from the USB drive. It's uh, last year's. Right? Here's, um, here's Fix Me Stick updating with uh, apparently no connection to the Internet whatsoever. So I'm not really sure, again, how that happened. So um, for the MCSoft uh, emergency kit, I had to actually go to their website, download it, and reload it to the USB drive with the latest version. And uh, we finally got that to run. So this guy's still updating. Took a while. Pulled 171 megabytes from somewhere, somehow. Uh, maybe they um, are able to port over the wireless connection information from Windows. I don't know, man, but that, that's some pretty cool technology or programming on their part. So, moving on to the MCSoft uh, emergency start kit thingy. Uh, I couldn't get it to boot from the CD. I don't believe it offers, and correct me if I'm wrong, MCSoft, but I don't believe it, it offers a bootable device feature. 
Uh, again, I didn't really look into it that much. I plugged it in and um, I tried to boot from it and there was nothing there. Um, so we can run it in Windows, but it was competing with all the other junk that was running in the background, so it was extremely slow. So I attempted to shut down a bunch of stuff in the task manager and uh, get it to run that way. And uh, so it did run, and uh, it did have to be online, which is really funny because when it was downloading its updates, I actually got a call from my Internet service provider telling me they were receiving strange traffic through my network. So I had to hurry up and uh, let it update and then turn the uh, Internet connection off on this computer. Apparently, they were sending some kind of uh, Chinese information to somewhere. I don't know. One of the things that one of my interns downloaded from uh, one of those sites he went to, I was sending some kind of maybe a denial service attack. I'm not really sure what it was sending up, but we shut it off and didn't put it back online afterwards, except to scan with the uh, Hitman Pro for the benchmark after work. So it took a little while to update, and uh, we went through it. And um, what's interesting is the first time we ran it, it crashed. And uh, all the stuff that it found through the malware scan, it didn't remove. So we had to run it again. I was able to run it a second time without rebooting. And uh, I selected quarantine automatically that time, and it did uh, actually, in effect, quarantine whatever it found during that second scan. So we got a high-risk alert, found uh, 240-some uh, pieces of malware, went and deleted it, and um, then we went and uh, you see all this stuff is still here, this geek buddy, everybody trying to get it jack a couple of bucks out of me to fix the computer with all these 800 numbers and all these pop-ups and all these um, these uh, adware things pretending to offer me some kind of, uh, here's where it crashed, some kind of protection that unfortunately does not work. And then Slim Cleaner popped up. We haven't seen as much Slim Cleaner lately as uh, we used to. Uh, maybe the, uh, a lot of these companies appear to have uh, cleaned up their act, and uh, I don't want to give anyone any... Uh, props or anything because i don't want you to buy some of this stuff because most of it does not work so i uh, ran it the second time found a whole bunch of stuff again and automatically quarantined everything and then i went afterward afterwards and once it was quarantined i was able to delete it and then reboot the computer and then uh take our benchmark meanwhile fix me stick still running several hours uh into it and uh it was really weird. It took several hours for that fix me stick to uh, to run and scan everything, and the updates took a long time too through its magical internet connection. I'd really love to know how that works. Actually, how it was able to get an internet connection without me keying in a WPA key and uh, no Ethernet cable. That's it's it's still stunning. It's just blowing my mind how it can do that. Imagine the potential to put that technology into watches and refrigerators, washers, dryers, people. So maybe it's an alien technology. But uh, it's pretty cool stuff. So um, after the MC Soft um, thing rebooted, it was able to pull out a whole bunch of stuff, and it's pulling out some Spark Trust and some of this other potentially unwanted programs out of here. Those pups that it couldn't pull out while it was in Windows, either reserved or locked down or whatever. And uh, fix me stick still chugging along. And then uh, it was able to reboot. So we let it do its thing and uh, reboot the computer hoping that this was the miracle child that we've all been praying for, man. The all-in-one solution is going to pull out everything and miraculously make our lives all better. And, oh, man, there's still junk in my trunk. The one system care still popped up, and you can see on the desktop, got this rain meter, whatever this craziness is, and this uh, these two goofy browsers, which look like they're ripoffs of Chrome. And, uh, well, they're all still there. So uh, here's the MCSoft and around the uh, benchmark on with the uh, Hitman Pro. And we still found 69 uh, threats with over 1,000 traces of junk in here. Still uh, riskware, malware, Trojans, all kinds of stuff in here. So the MCSoft stuff is uh, it's not going to solve all your problems. With all honesty, there's really not one tool yet that can solve everything. So none of these things is able to do it. I know I just probably gave away the whole thing but watch till the end because uh we'll see how all three of these uh fare in their tests here so mc soft still left a bunch of residual here and uh again there's not one tool that takes out everything so now we did try to run the hitman pro kickstarter which we had tremendous success with last year as a matter of fact i did a video and 
mm, somebody at YouTube saw it was uh, inappropriate and pulled it off and actually dinged me, which was kind of weird. I don't understand why, but it was a really helpful video taking the FBI virus down. And the, the uh, Hitman Pro uh, Kickstarter was the only thing that could knock that thing out. But uh, man, I don't know. So uh, please like and subscribe to our videos, and it helps us uh, keep our videos online. Somebody might have been in cahoots with those people at the FBI virus thing. So um, we ran this guy, attempted uh, at least 10 times to run this thing. I tried booting it from the USB device, would not work. I tried booting it with all three options, did not work. I even created the uh, Kickstarter CD image, which works sometimes when the USB device fails, and that didn't work either every time it kept coming into a Windows startup loop. So either the computer was too badly infected to run that thing or um, something was conflicting in the technology here, but I'm not smart enough to know what that is. But we could not get Kickstarter to run. I even tried to run Kickstarter in Windows. So we ended up running just uh, Hitman Pro in Windows itself, which was kind of, uh, I guess it was kind of a control, which was the same thing we ran before and found the same results that we found uh, when we ran the uh, the benchmarks before. So. Um, Hitman Pro did not work for us, unfortunately. We were kind of disappointed. Although it is still a great tool, and uh, I do highly recommend Hitman Pro as part of your anti-malware arsenal. So, Mr. Fix Me Stick finally finished. It said two hours. I swear it was longer than that. Maybe it was the update process, but uh, almost three hours. Found a whole bunch of stuff here and went ahead and applied the actions to quarantine everything that it found. And that took a long time, too. As a matter of fact, I left and came back in the next morning because I got tired of waiting for it. Plus, I was starving. And uh, it took quite a while for that. And when I came in the next day, it was finally finished. So I don't know how long it took to clean all this stuff, but I know I was waiting over an hour or so. Uh, we went and uh, I saw the results. It didn't, didn't give me a tally of how many it found here, which was I was disappointed. But it does send you an email to the registered user. And uh, we could take a look at that and see exactly how many it found and what it found. So time to reboot it and see what we found. So we rebooted and ran the uh, benchmark test with Hitman Pro. Still found several traces of infections after we ran the Fix Me Stick. So uh, again, there's no one particular tool in general that can seems to be able to solve everything and remove all traces of Trojans, malware, viruses and potentially unwanted products or programs but um uh, this didn't seem to do the trick for us either there's still a proxy server on here as you can see through hitman pro and uh all these uh crazy icons for a lot of stuff we really don't want on our computers and a lot of stuff you really don't want on your computer so did it help yes it made it a little more usable took some of the stuff out definitely deleted a lot of stuff out of here and uh, probably some of the more harmful stuff, some of the more malware and Trojans it knocked out of there too. But was it an end-all, be-all solution? Unfortunately, test number two um, says not quite yet. I think that uh, the folks at Fix Me Stick are on the right track. They're getting closer. Still got to do a little bit more hard work and research to get that done. But um, it's on the right track, so we'll keep our eye on it. We'll do one more test and uh, post it up here on YouTube. Please like, subscribe, comment positively if you want. My name's Chuck Fresh, and thanks for watching.